answer to the question. Are you going to hit me, Alan? You are undereducated, over-opinionated, and you're overweight. It's crunch time for three couples. Their marriages are on the rocks. They just shut the up. They're constantly fighting. They're bitter, resentful. They just can't see a way out. But will they fall in love again when they're fighting for survival? Husband and wife team Michael Hawk from Ruth England think so. That's me, journalist and explorer Ruth England. Uh, ha! Got it! And me, ex Special Forces trainer and survival expert Michael Hawk. Fish and spear. Woo! And we're taking these couples to the most remote places on earth to make or break their relationships once and for all. What well, doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Getting back to nature with not just their marriage, but also their lives at stake. What the hell is that? In driving each other wild. We've set up a makeshift camp as base, but things will be tough. The tag is a spook. So it's plan B. We'll all be hunting. Oh. Gathering. Wow, it's a lobster one. Sleeping, eating, and surviving in the wild. I think that's gruesome. You should be on this side. <laughs> Mike has not only mastered every kind of hostile environment imaginable, he's also a trained counselor with a master's in psychology. Just staying here ain't gonna do us any good either. We gotta do something. Using this training and his special forces interrogation techniques, we get to the bottom of their troubles in a way that beats any New York therapist's couch. I think it's, it's causing him a bit, of, a bit of grief. And Ruth is the only woman in the world with so much survival experience. <laughs> oh dear. When these city women are forced to kill and prepare their own food. <laughs> it's Ruth who will be telling them that they really can break the neck of a bird. I hope Daddy is gonna love me. They'll be burning leeches off each other, eating bugs, I just pulled the poo section out. Killing wild animals, roasting snakes, wading through swamps, and surviving on two or three hours sleep. We try and cuddle in, like, you couldn't even warm up like that. And we'll make sure that each couple has tasks which also challenge their specific relationship problems. A couple with communication issues, forage for food in the pitch dark, relying on each other for direction. But the scorpions come out at night, right? A couple with self-esteem issues must work as a team when kayaking in the pouring rain to bring back fish for the camp. I'm so good right now. Eventually, each couple will spend a night on their own together out in the wilderness. I keep thinking about snakes snuggling up to my body heat. And when you're alone out there, at night, you really need someone to lean on. This is one of the most restless nights I've ever had. We're not pretending we can solve all their problems. But after what they've been through, they'll know themselves and each other on a whole new level. The experience was amazing. This was it. This was our moment. Ruth and I have survived together as a couple in every kind of hostile environment. Wow. Okay. Because when you leave Fort Living Room, you still bring your baggage with you. So when you strip it all away, they still have to deal with their issues and work together. That is amazing! Fire. These couples are at rock bottom. They're willing to try anything to improve their future. How dare you? With the help of me, Michael Hawk, and my wife, Ruth England, and a whole lot of nature, they're fighting for their marriages and for their lives. Blood, sweat, tears, poison, struggles, triumphs, and of course, love. <laughs> In driving each other wild.